In this module, we're going to learn how to parameterize our SSIS packages using Visual Studio 2010. So I'm going to come over here and go to my Start menu and go to SQL Server Data Tools. In this particular example, I've already created a SSIS package, and the name of that package is called Variables and Parameters. So here I can see under Recent Projects my package called Variables and Parameters. Or I could just go over here and go to File and Open, and I can open a project and solution. And then I could navigate to that location for that particular project and solution. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and open it right here. And as you can see, it is preparing the solution. So I'm going to expand on this tab a little bit. And we see over here on our left hand side, we have our toolbox, which has all of my data flow tasks and my database tasks. And within the design tab, you can see that I have the control flows. In this particular example, there are no data flows. And over here on the right hand side, under my solution explorer, this is where I have all of my variables and my connection managers. The name of the package that I created is, happens to be called controlflow.dtsx. Now down here under connection managers, I have three connection managers. I have the demo connection manager, and if I open this up, this is actually doing a file system task where I'm creating a folder, and the name of the folder is called C Infinite Skills Demo. I'm go ahead and click OK here. And I have another connection manager, and this is called demo.txt. We're going to hold off on that for the time being. We'll come back and take a look at that in a second. And then I have this last connection manager, which is called dynamic package test.txt. So if I open up this connection manager, this is the existing file. So basically, what's going to happen with these connection managers. It is going to copy a file from one location to another location. Now, if I go ahead and hit cancel out of here, I'm going to go over to my Windows Explorer and I'm going to expand on my local disk. Under local disk, I have a directory called Infinite Skills. I have two directories here. I have one which is called Files, and within the files, there is a file called Dynamic Package Test.txt. Let me come back over here into my Windows Explorer. Under Infinite Skills, and under demo, I have the same thing. That is because I've already ran this. And what we're going to do is we're going to step through this package and we can see how we can parameterize and make variables out of this package. So let me minimize this because we're going to come back to it in just a second. The idea here is all this package does is it identifies a file, copies the file from one location to another location. However, before it does that, it goes out to the operating system and it does a file system tasks. And all these files right here, the delete files, the delete folder, create folder, and copy file, these are all file system tasks. So if we had come over here, we can see that we would have drugged these tasks into this design pane. And actually, we've grouped them together so that we're going to run delete files and delete folders as one common task. But the idea here is that we want to parameterize the locations of these files. Because not everything is going to be fixed in the real world. In the real world, certain days you might put a file in one location, and certain days you might put a file in another location. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to create variables and we're going to create parameters. So what we see up here, right next to my design task, I have project parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and select the project parameters. And at this point in time, I have created a predefined parameter, and that parameter is called folder path. It is a string data type, and the file is C infinite skills demo. It is a required parameter, and it is not case sensitive. So all I did to add this parameter is I went over here, I added the parameter, I gave it a parameter name, and we'll just call this F path. The data type is going to be a string data type, and then I gave it the value of C infinite skills. And then I changed it from required to true. It's okay for me to create this other parameter because I'm not going to use it, but I just want to show you exactly how to do this. So now effectively we have two parameters. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the control flow and I want to create a package variable. So I'm going to go to the SSIS menu option and I'm going to go view the variables. Down here we can see under the variables tab that I've already created a variable. What's important to note here is the scope of this variable is going to apply to the control flow. So the name of the variable is called file name. It is a control flow variable. It is a data type, and then this is the value. So again, to add one, I just say add. 
then I would give it the variable name and I can call it F name. Now it's going to automatically associate to where you are at within the design tab. And since we happen to be in the control flow, the scope is going to be within the control flow. I'm going to make it a string data type and I can just call this test.txt. So effectively, I have a parameter defined at the project level, which is folder path. If I go over to the control flow tab and I go to SSIS and under variables, now I have variables defined at the control flow design stage. So let me go ahead and close this out. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to step through this just to show you exactly what these steps are doing. So I'm going to select this and kind of move it up a little bit. First of all, we have delete files task. I'm going to go back to my Windows Explorer and I can see under the infinite skills demo directory, I have a file called dynamic package test.txt. So let me go ahead and minimize that. And this file system task will actually delete the files within that directory. So if I do a right mouse click on it and it says execute task, it will strictly execute this specific task. So it's going out and it's actually looking in that directory and it's deleting the contents of that particular directory. So now if I come over here to my Windows Explorer and I expand on the infinite skills directory, then under infinite skills, under the demo directory, I do not have any files. So that task executed successfully. So let me go ahead and minimize this. And I know that it executed successfully because I got the little green checkbox. Within SSIS, it's still in debug mode. So I cannot go any further until I take it out of debug mode. So I'm going to go ahead to debug and I'm going to say stop debugging. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the folder. So before I even do that, let me go ahead and double click on this. And when I open it up, I can see that it is a file system task that is deleting a folder. The operation is delete directory and the source connection is demo. So basically what's happening is deleting the entire folder that's created through this connection manager. So if I click OK and I open up this connection manager down here, I can see C infinite skills demo. So let me click OK. Let me do a right mouse click on delete folder and execute the task. In a moment, we'll see that the delete folder tasks executed successfully. To validate that, I'm going to come out to my Windows Explorer and I'm going to infinite skills. And sure enough, we do not have a demo directory. So let me go ahead and minimize that. And then I'm going to stop the debugging. Now we're going to do the create folder, which basically is going to go out and create the demo directory. But what I want to show you is the demo txt connection manager. What's going to happen is that we've deleted the contents of the directory. We've deleted the folder. We're going to create the folder. But now if we open up the copy file, the copy file basically is going to use the destination connection manager called demo text, and it's going to use the source connection manager dynamic package test.txt. So if I go ahead and click OK, then if I open up this demo.txt, and if I do a properties on it, I'm going to expand the expressions, and I'm going to come over here to the connection string. I'm going to expand the variables and parameters. And when I expand the variables and parameters, I can see the variable folder path and the variable file name. So I'm deleting that and I'm just dragging folder path down here, and then I'm adding the file name. So this is the project folder path, and this is the variable file name. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to evaluate the expression, and it's going to evaluate to infinite skills demo dynamic package test.txt. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and run this. Now, the value of this is if I want to change the file name or the destination directory, all I have to do is come under project parameters and change this value right here. If I go back to the control flow tab and I go to SSIS under variables, if I want to change the value of the file, I would just change it here. I don't have to physically hard code the directory or I don't have to physically hard code the file name. So let me go ahead and minimize this. We're going to go ahead and execute create a folder. And that's going to go out and actually execute and create a new folder. You can see that it executed successfully because my green checkbox. If I come under Windows Explorer, there is my demo folder. Now, if I look at the contents of the demo folder, it contains no values. If I go back and I look at the files folder, there is the file called dynamic package test. Now, if we want to go ahead and open this up, I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. And this is a dynamic package test. Let me go ahead and close this. 
and I'm going to back up here and then minimize this. Now, since we're still in debug mode, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go stop debugging. And then I'm going to just run this specific task, copy file. Now, if we open up this task, we can see that the destination connection is that demo.txt, which is that parameterized connection manager. And the source is this dynamic package test.txt. So let me go ahead and cancel this and then execute the task. So effectively, all this task is doing is copying a file from one location to another but the parameters, the file name and the folder path are dynamic. So if we want to change those, we can come in and easily change those. We can see that the copy file task was successful. Let me come over here and in my Windows Explorer, go into demo, and there it is. So let me go ahead and minimize this again. Let me go under debug and stop debugging. And then I'm going to run the entire package. The entire package will go through, delete the contents of the directory, create the directory, delete the directory, and then copy the file over. And we are successful.